Hey guys, it's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Today is uh, November 16th, and uh, we had our first snowfall last night. Uh, the weathermen said that uh, we were going to get a trace to an inch. Well, as you can see, we didn't get a trace to an inch. Those weather guys are always wrong, seriously, when it comes to snow. We got five and a half to six inches last night, and uh, then the rain came and uh, soaked it all away. Today I'm just uh, buttoning up some things that I need to do, and I'll tell you about it. As you know, the John Deere LA-105 is running fantastic. Uh, all it needs now is the uh, charging system to be uh, figured out, because it doesn't charge. So I ordered a new voltage regulator, and uh, waiting for that to come, and then I could uh, sort that out. My Hallworth, New Jersey one with the rebuilt engine runs fantastic. One of the... Uh, I'm very proud of that because uh, it's the first time I really rebuilt the engine myself, you know. I've never done it before and uh, seems to run really well. Uh, the only thing is the uh, mower deck belt seems to be too tight and uh, it, it's on whether it's the PTO is engaged or not, you know. So I ordered another mower belt that's a little, uh, that's two inches uh, longer. So maybe that will fix the problem. So it was only eight bucks. I'm going to just, you know, try it. Waiting for that belt to come. And uh, this one still needs a um, float bulb uh, needle to uh, seat properly because the carburetor leaks. So once I get that uh, figured out, there's the throttle linkage that sticks and, and all that stuff. And uh, But we did, you know, start that engine for a little while. And, uh, you know, that's a work in progress. Another work in progress is also my uh, Murray Garden Tractor. Uh, as you know, this engine was taken off a Craftsman off the side of the street. I uh, took that apart and cleaned it because it had sludge and water build up in it. And uh, it doesn't run well. It runs, but it doesn't run well because the opposed twin carburetor in there um, that I got from Pete Lombardi, he actually gave me two opposed twin carburetors. And uh, I took the newest looking one and I put it in there and it just it doesn't run right you know also it has a leaky um, sump gasket so once I get this figured out uh, eventually I'm gonna have to take this engine off and flip it upside down take off the sump cover and replace the sump gasket to prevent it from leaking but I'm not gonna do that yet until I know this runs smooth you know and it's been driving me crazy and so I'm gonna take this uh, carburetor out I'm going to find the other carburetor that I had uh, from Pete Lombardi, and he says that's a better carburetor. But if I took this fuel pump off of this one, put it on that one, and clean it up, it should run way better than this one. This one was missing parts. This one was missing a jet. This is missing the Welsh plug, so I have it plugged with some plastic cap that I found, you know. So I don't, that's not, you know, really the right way to do it. So I'm going to. I'm going to get the other carburetor that I have in the backyard in a toolbox somewhere and I'm going to basically make one good one out of two, hopefully. So uh, I'm in the process now of removing this uh, base. I have to disconnect the hoses. I'm going to take that apart and try to get that carburetor off. I have limited space, obviously. Um, it's all packed and jammed in here. It's difficult to work when you can't even walk, you know. But uh, I'm going to try to get this all squared away, and uh, it's cold out. So I want to take this carburetor off, get the carburetor from the backyard, and take it inside with my torch cleaning tips and soak it in some fluid and, you know, some brushes and just clean everything out. Take everything apart and take the good parts and build one, you know. So I'm building a good opposed twin carburetor. Um, it's a Nikki carb with the four screws. Parts are pretty expensive, you know. I've got this little uh, lamp over here that I got for free from Harbor Freight Tools. You buy anything there, even if it's like a 49 cent thing, I'll give you a free flashlight with a coupon. Well worth it. Anyway, so I've removed the uh, three uh, screws that hold the um, air filter base cover onto the carburetor right it's loose there but there's a breather hose over here that you just basically stick your finger in here and push
got to use two hands to push that out, and this comes right off. Put this here, along with the screws, and there's the carburetor. I'm going to disconnect the fuel lines. It shouldn't leak out because there's a fuel pump to it, so uh, fuel will not flow freely because it's not gravity fed. So I'm just going to disconnect the fuel lines and the uh, linkages, and uh, there's two bolts on the very bottom. And I'll just lift that carburetor out and go to the backyard and find the other carburetor, bring both of them inside with my torch cleaning, uh, cleaning uh, tools, and sit at the dining room table and uh, take both of them apart, find all the good parts and put one together. Cool thing about that flashlight, it's uh, magnetized so you can like stick it somewhere and it stays in place, you know. Anyway, uh, just remove the uh, fuel line and the bottom breather hose over here and uh, there are two 11 millimeter or 716 bolts that go upward that hold the carburetor onto the intake manifold. I've got one off already. I'm going to take the other one off. I'm going to loosen the uh, throttle linkages and uh, get it off. So I've got the carburetor off now. Just loosen the, uh, this is the choke linkage. Be careful not to lose that. And now I'm going to just loosen this Phillips screw there and take this linkage off of that hole. Make sure you know which one is that last hole there. So actually it's a uh, Torx comes right off the Z-Bend. So here's an opposed, a Briggs and Stratton opposed twin carburetor. I know it looks clean, but it doesn't run good. Hesitates and stuff, um, just not smooth, you know? Looks good. See right here? This is a plastic a little cap that I shoved into the hole there. It's not supposed to be there. And I have a feeling that's the reason why it's not running right, because it's supposed to be a Welsh plug in there. I'm going to go and dig out the uh, other carburetor in the backyard. And I'll take this inside, and I'll be able to show you exactly uh, what it's supposed to look like. And hopefully we can uh, put all the good stuff of here and put it on the other carburetor, and hopefully it'll run right. Now I'm in my backyard. Got some of my equipment in here that's uh, under the covers because I don't want uh, it to be trashed with the snow and the rain. Here's my Scots with the Kawasaki. That, uh, that doesn't really run right either. I think I need to give it an oil change because I think because uh, I experimented with the um, Fuel pump it doesn't work right. Might have to give it an oil change. Okay, here's the uh, box with all the uh, parts. I'm gonna find that thing. These are all my opposed twin parts, and there it is. Here's the other opposed twin. See that uh, hole in there? There's a metal plate in there. That's a Welsh plug. The other carburetor doesn't have that, so I basically plugged it with that plastic thing. Well, it's recessed, so I don't think it's meant to be entirely plugged. So there's probably something in there that's not supposed to be covered, which is why, probably why it doesn't run right. So here are the two carburetors side by side. This one was on the tractor and this one was in the box. As you can see, there's a Welsh plug in there. And as you can see here, I plugged it with this plastic thing. So I'm gonna take this plastic thing off. Let's check out what's inside. 
I took the plastic thing off. I had this silly hose over here. See that? The older carburetor is really dirty. I'm going to take that top part off. Okay, I just uh, blew out both carburetors with this carb cleaner. As long as I'm soaking it, I'm putting both of them in there. Took all the jets out, and the nuts are in there too, into the bowl. I'm gonna fill it with some gas. I have it in a plastic bag here to uh, so I can agitate a little bit better by, you know, pulling up on it, and you know, it just keeps it more compact. You know, I'm dumb gassing it. It's about a little more than a gallon of gas in there. I wanted to soak it all the way to the top, you know. Small price to pay for a clean carburetor. I'm going to soak this for a day. So it's the next day and my carburetors are now nice and clean. And uh, I've worked out this uh, filtered canister here save the gas for future soakings instead of just wasting it you know a lot of crap on the very bottom that
came out of that carburetor. So I'm going to put everything together again, uh, build one good one out of the two, and uh, put it on the uh, Murray and see if it runs better. If not, I'm at a loss. I have to just go find another carburetor someday, you know? The opposed twin carburetors are very expensive, between um, 80 and $200 on the condition. This is just to show you that this old fuel filter has pretty much had it because it is dripping so slowly, which means that the uh, fuel filter is pretty clogged with crap over the years. After I use this, I'll probably just chuck it, or I'll use it for um, a filter to uh, do what I'm doing now. That's about as clean as you're going to get it. Where is that? Uh... Oh, there it is. So there's the Welsh plug area. So I'm going to put uh, this clean jet in there, right in there. Then there's this little jet plug, right? That's uh, clean. I can't see it. There you go. Nice and clean. So you put the carburetor on top so that the spring will stay where it is. And then you tighten the bolts. Tighten the bolts down. And now if I blow into the fuel pump here and try to suck, I can blow but I can't suck. That's the way it's supposed to be. It's a valve. It can blow, but it won't return can't suck. That's the pulse from the pulse from the engine. Now I'm going to put the top part on. This part of the gasket where the fuel enters was a little bit worn. So I just used some gasket maker and I uh, put it there to give it a little bit of a coating. Make sure you don't plug up the holes. So I'm going to let it cure a little bit so that bit pretty much uh, makes up the room in there for any space that might have might be um, left open. But you're going to be tightening this down so that should do it. Not too bad, but just want to make sure giving a little bit of a light coating of gasket maker there. I'm going to let this uh, cure just a little bit and then I'll put that top part on screw together and uh, put this one together but this one's missing the Welsh plug this one's missing the Welsh plug it's missing the jet nut and the drain nut it's also missing a spring it's inside the fuel pump other than that this is another good carburetor it's tough to get those parts though you know without buying a whole new uh, parts carburetor. So there it is. This is the completed opposed twin Briggs carburetor. It's pretty damn clean. So if this doesn't make my opposed twin engine on my Murray run well, I don't know what will short of a brand new carburetor, which I'm not going to spend $200 on. But as far as I can tell, it's complete. 
and the only reason why I think it was running bad was because of the Welsh plug was missing on the old one. Well, now we have a Welsh plug. We have it completely cleaned. We have a rebuilt uh, fuel pump with all the good parts. I... I'm a little skeptical. I don't think it'll work right. I think it'll just be the same. But I'm going to install it now and see what happens. Just install the carburetor, put all the hoses back, and uh, I'm just going to give it a try now. <clears throat> Let's hope this baby runs right. It's going to need some time to uh, get the gas in there with the fuel pump, I guess. I hope. Still kind of runs rough. Don't get it, man. You even saw it uh, backfired a little, you know? I don't get it. Either it's a new carburetor or uh, something's up with the timing or maybe the valves. It's an, it's an L flathead, so the valves really don't really need much adjusting, you know? I'm going to try starting it up again. <laughs> down because if I put it all the way down it'll stall.
go. Well, look, I mean, uh, it runs okay, you know, but uh, not really as smooth as I'd uh, expect it to be, you know. The linkages are a little hinky. Maybe if I mess with that a little bit more, but uh, anyway, it doesn't seem like it uh, really did all that much in terms of uh, cleaning that carburetor and putting it together. Um, anyway, that was it. Uh, that's my uh, video of uh, how to take apart two opposed twin carburetors and build one good one. Um, it's probably not the carburetor. I bet you it's the governor linkages that need adjusting. And that's for another day. Anyway, see you guys next time on Motors and Blowers. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time on Motors and Blowers. Remember to subscribe and like and follow me.